Hey everybody, it's Ed. All right, recently I did a video where I showed all of the Follow That Dream FTD vinyl releases that have come out from 2009 to present of 2023. And there have been a total of 46 releases, okay, on vinyl. Now, today's video, I wanted to talk about what soundtracks still need to be released uh, as an FTD vinyl. Now, for those of you new to the channel, when I say the FTD label, I am talking about, of course, the Follow That Dream label, which started out as a fan club uh, type label where they release Elvis rarities or outtakes or concerts. So, for example, they release a classic album. Let's say that's the way it is. And the album is uh, basically a reimagining. Comes a double vinyl, and it'll come with alternate takes or outtakes or live performances of the songs intertwined, and overall good stuff. So, getting to the soundtracks, there have well, we know that Elvis had a total of thirty-one films. That's not including. That's the way it is in Elvis on tour. The last two movies were documentaries, but we're talking as far as what they used to call a major motion picture or, you know, regular movie. Um, Elvis had 31 of them, where the first was Love Me Tender in 1956, all the way up to number 31 being Change of Habit, which was in 1969. So... This video, we're going to talk about the FTD vinyl releases that have not been done yet or that need to come out. All right. So what movies uh, do not have an FTD vinyl release? That's basically it. So let us start, well, I guess with the very, very first Elvis movie, which was Love Me Tender. Now, this does have an FTD CD release. I don't know if it's still available. Uh, but it was released on CD, so there is a possibility that there could be and most likely will be a vinyl release in the future. But this is one that has not been released yet. Now, of course, if you want to know, well, Ed, which FTD soundtracks have been released? Well, you can go back and check my video where I show all 46 and you can find for yourself. All right. The second one that needs a FTD release on vinyl would be Loving You. Uh, this was the first album that came out as a soundtrack. However, only half of the album is soundtrack from the movie and the rest are um, just, you know, non-movie songs. So there you have that. I believe this is an early 60s pressing on this. Okay. All right. So we had Love Me Tender and we had Loving You that need to be released. Then next would be Flaming Star. Flaming Star did not see an FTD vinyl release as of yet. Will we see one? Who knows? I guess we're going to find out. All right, but Flaming Star. Then, Wild in the Country actually never had a um, any type of... I don't even think Wild in the Country had an EP. If it did, I don't own it. I don't believe I do. I'll have to check if I do, but Wild in the Country. All right, the next one. We have Follow That Dream. All right. This needs to see an FTD vinyl release. Will it? We'll find out. Maybe. Maybe not. Or as I like to say, we'll know when we know. Then we have Kid Galahad. This one's a little beat up. But regardless, this is not seen an FTD vinyl release. Will it see one? Girl Happy. Girl Happy is also not seen. You know, not for some reason I thought it did, but nope, it didn't. When I checked through, I was like, hmm, that's odd. For some reason, it must be like a Mandela effect for me. But I thought this was an FTD vinyl release, but apparently... No, wait, it is. It is. You know what? Ignore that one. Let's go with Harem Scarum. <laughs> Harem Scarum definitely is not an FTD vinyl release as of yet. All right, but um, yeah... I kind of hope it won't be, I'll be honest with you. But that's just, that's my opinion. You know, if you feel differently, 
Good for you. All right. Then we have Frankie and Johnny. This is not seeing an FTD vinyl release. And I got to be honest with you, I'm not really too keen on seeing this. Put it this way. If they put out Harem Scarum or Frankie and Johnny before, let's say, Elvis Sings the Wonderful World of Christmas, uh, which would pretty much complete the 70s classic album release with the exception of a couple of the live albums. Very upsetting. All right. Next one I need to see a vinyl release as far as soundtracks go is Paradise Hawaiian Style. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. All right. And believe it or not, we also have not seen Spin Out yet on FTD Vinyl. So, will we? Oh, and then, yes, here we have Double Trouble. Yep. Need that on FTD Vinyl for certain. And last but not least, we're going to definitely... Definitely need Clam Big going to have Clam Big on vinyl for FTD. Because who doesn't want outtakes of confidence? This guy doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. So I mean, look, you know, again, there were 31 movies that were released by Elvis. If you, and if you want to count that's the way it is as a soundtrack, then I could, you know, I could say that, well, that's been satisfied in both the classic album and the soundtrack category because they do have the That's the Way It Is special edition as well. All right. But um, according to my, my list, FTD has released a total of 19 of the soundtracks. And... Um, I didn't write them down, but again, you can go back and check my, my video where I show all 46 of them. And the ones that I just showed are the ones that FTD would need to release if they plan on doing so. All right. But next video, I guess what we'll talk about are what classic albums need to be released. And what do I mean by classic albums? Well, I'm talking about basically, you know, studio albums, songs that contained... Uh, I'm sorry, albums that contain songs that Elvis recorded in the studio and not necessarily live on stage. So that will be the next video. This video featured the soundtracks. So again, go and check out my previous video to see which soundtracks have already been released. And now we know which ones need to be released. And there you have it. If you would like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I do appreciate you all. As always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Take care.